We've certainly seen this script before. A 5-1 start, records falling each week, even earning some votes in the national coaches poll. Now it's about building a new legacy. As a team, I feel like we're more bought in into the process. We're not really focused on uh, individual goals. We're more focused on the end goal, and we all understand what it takes. So I feel like we're a little more locked in than we've been in the past. We're holding our standard a little more. We're more bought in as a team. We all talk about our goals more often than we did last year. Last year, we kind of got caught up in the hype, but now we're, we're worried about moving forward. We don't get too stuck in the moment. Let's dive deeper into this year's success. Two wins decided in the final minute. 11 Big South Player of the Week honors and a top 10 turnover margin. I say one of the biggest things we learned is how to finish. Uh, in the past, we've always had close games. We've never really found a way to finish them, but this season we've found a way to bring it all together and to use everything and just finish games on top and finish with a W. I've always thought that was, it was a good thing that we went through those games, you know, this year early so we could uh, have a test, you know, know how to win in all situations. And that's really going to help us in the, long, the end of the stretch. I mean, that'll mean a lot, uh, considering we have, you know, I feel like the best talent in the conference. Uh, all we need to do is just, you know, worry about ourselves, uh, just focus. This next stretch features back-to-back -back road games, plus two of the top teams in the league here at home. A chance to make significant strides from year one to year two. We know that we've been here before at this record, you know, and we want to learn from the past couple seasons that that's not going to happen. You know, this is a new culture and we're going to keep pushing forward to get these wins in the later stretch. Hold our standard each and every week. Like I said, it sounds repetitive, but that's what we have to do because we've been doing it so far. We just have to keep improving every week. We can't be the same as we were the previous week or even the previous day because if we're not getting better, we're getting worse. And we can't really take a week off. We can't take a break. We've had two bye We're lucky enough to have two bye weeks. So we just understand that these last six weeks have to be all go, full, full steam ahead. Next up, the Garner Webb running Bulldogs, who beat Campbell last homecoming, something these Camels won't forget. I could just see the fire in everybody's eyes as soon as we came out this week in the weight room, and even in meetings, everybody's locked in. Everybody came out to practice with high intensity. It rained on us yesterday. Everybody put the intensity up even more when it rained. So, I mean, everybody's just focused. 